Hello guys, in this video we will take a look at how to install ESLint and Prettier in a Next.js project. Here we have a fresh install of Next.js project. If we take a look at package.json, we can see that ESLint is already installed. However, ESLint configuration doesn't enforce many of the rules that we want, like for example semicolons. So if we go to index.js, put a semicolon, save our changes and do yarn lint. This will tell us that there is no warnings or errors. So we need to reconfigure ESLint. Before we do so, let's uh, check first if Prettier and ESLint plugins are installed for VS Code. So we can check it by going to ESLint. And here you can see the ESLint plugin, just be sure it is installed. And also you can check Prettier. And Prettier is also installed. So now let's run npx eslint init. It will ask us it will ask us a few questions. First, we would like to check syntax, find problems, and enforce code style. I'm gonna do JavaScript modules. We're gonna be using React. We don't have TypeScript. We're gonna be use running the code in a browser. We would like to use a popular style guide. Here, BNB is a good guy. Let's select that. And format we want our config file to be in is JSON. Okay, so here it suggests us to install following dependencies and what we're gonna do select here, we're gonna select no actually. So the reason we're selected no is because it will use NPM to install those dependencies, but we need to use yarn. So we just copy them and do yarn add. I'm going to paste the dependencies and then put dash dash dev flag. All right, after the dependencies are installed, our code gets highlighted. If you install dependencies correctly but your code is not highlighted, try doing command shift v or control shift v on Windows and restart ESLint server. Okay, so before we start fixing the errors, let's actually add a plugin uh, next recommended to avoid our rule collision and also include the next rules. So we go to ESLint config and in extends we add this plugin right here. So let's save it. So now if we go to index.js and hover over the line, uh, we can see that we must uh, the React must be in scope when using JSX. So as you know in Next.js you don't need to import React. So what we can do is to disable this rule. So let's go to ESLint RC JSON and rules and we'll type React React in JSX scope and we'll put off. All right, let's take a look at the next error. This says that JSX is not allowed in files with extension.js. So we could, what we can do, we can go ahead and disable that rule as well. Or if you prefer to use JSX extension, you can just change the extension of the file to JSX. All right, so now we have a few errors which we can actually fix by go doing command shift p and or control shift p in windows and do fix all auto fixable problems right here all right let's save this now we can go to app.js file so when we hover it says component is missing in a props validation for now we can actually disable the props types validation and then later on if we decide to use validation we can enable it so let's go into eslintrc.json and do react prop types and we do off as well all right so the next one is saying uh, prop spreading is forbidden 
personally I like prop spreading so let's go ahead and uh, disable that rule as well so we'll put react JSX props no spreading and we're gonna put off all right now we have another issue is that again JSX is not allowed in JS files so we can just go ahead and rename our our file to JSX all right and now we can do we can auto fix our problems the rest of them okay let's save this file and when we go into API hello JS file we can see that there is only one error and we can do the same command shift p or control shift p fix auto fixable problems we're all set with ESLint so now let's install Prettier while ESLint keeps the style in good shape Prettier is used to auto format the code let's go ahead and install necessary dependencies for the Prettier so we're gonna do yarn add Prettier ESLint config pre tier eslint okay, eslint login pre tier and we're gonna do dash dash dev here all right when our packages are installed we need to configure it uh, pre tier in eslint configuration so here it extends we're gonna put tier also in plugins we're gonna put pre tier and then in our rules we're gonna add the pre tier rules so it shows our errors end of line auto is here because um, of the end of line characters in Windows so if you're on Mac, you technically don't need it, but if you're on Windows, you may need it because of your end of line character. So here I can just delete it. All right, after I make changes, I can see that my files again has errors. But first, let's create a configuration file for pre-tier uh, because by default, pre-tier actually has double quotes and we want to have single quote, right? So we're gonna do new file dot pre tier rc and then we need to put the following single quote true. So now pre tier is gonna be enforcing single quote the same way Airbnb does. All right. So here are the issues that we have and we can actually instead of doing auto fix auto fixable problems we can do yarn lint dash dash fix all right as you can see you got this stuff but we still have issues with double quotes instead of a single quote however we created pre-tier rc file so what happened is again uh, we can uh, restart our ESLint server to fix this issue. And now the issue is gone. So it picked up pre-tier configuration file correctly. So when you create a new configuration file or something is not working, just try restarting your ESLint server. Finally, we should configure VS Code to format our code on save. Let's go to Preferences, Settings, and I like to use workspace here, workspace settings. So we can just type on save. And we can go to formatting and format a file on save. All right, as soon as we clicked on it, we can see that we have .vs code folder appearing on our left bar. So let's go and take a look at it. And here we have the settings that format on save is true for our workspace. Let's go and test it. We're gonna do a few errors right here and now we're gonna save the file. As you can see, it just formatted our 
file on save. If it doesn't work for you, you can go Command Shift P or Control Shift P in window and use format document right here. So it's gonna ask you what formatter you want to use and you're gonna use Prettier formatter. In my case it's already selected and used so it doesn't prompt me. So I, if I click here it's gonna use Prettier by default. This is how you can configure ESLint and Prettier in your Next.js project. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.